I'm back. Hello, my name is BBT, and I often ask myself, Why do I have so many games? And so here I am with Dear Esther Landmark Edition. This is one of the many games that I own that I've never really played before. I actually got this for Christmas uh, from a friend of mine, Evan, uh, who I actually play with pretty regularly. And uh, <laughs> it was either Christmas or my birthday, and I never really gave this a shot. So uh, happy birthday slash Merry Christmas. Thanks a lot, Evan. Really appreciate it. We're going to give this a try. Uh, I really have been interested in this. I think this was the... This is the game that kicked off walking simulators as a genre. Or at least maybe not kicked it off, but like it wasn't the first, I'm, I'm sure. But it was the one I think that brought it, that genre into the limelight, if you will. And uh, rightly or wrongly, some people hate it, some people like it. Uh, I don't know. I've, I think I've played a few, and the ones that I've played I've enjoyed, right? I can enjoy a good story. Uh, and so, yeah, we're going to play this for about uh, 40 minutes or so. Uh, unless it's like Edge, uh, where I only play for 20, but that's a bit of a different situation. So, we're gonna get about 40 minutes to play, and we're gonna see how this is. Dear Esther Landmark Edition, I've never played this, never touched it. The only thing I've done is so far is going to the options menu, make sure the volume's a little bit lower. Hopefully the balance is okay. Uh, here we go. Uh, the Lighthouse, the buoy, uh, we do not want director's commentary. Uh, I did turn on, uh, I did turn on subtitles, closed captioning. Here we go. I'm excited about this, actually. I, I do enjoy a good story, and whether whether or not you want to... Esther. Oh, here we go. The gulls do not land here anymore. Okay. I've noticed that this year they seem to shun the place. Oh. Maybe it's the depletion of the fishing oh, stock driving move. them away. Perhaps it's me. Hmm. When he first landed here, Donnelly hmm. wrote that the herds were sickly, and their oh. shepherds the lowest of the miserable classes that populate these Hebridean islands. Okay. 300 years later, even they have departed. Okay. Well, I like the look. Like, I like the graphics so far. I was going to say, um, even if you want to classify this as a game or not a game, if you want to get into that debate, I'm not going to. Um, I, I view it as media, right? As, like, art. Well, you can hear, like... Neat. Oh, hey. That's like, is that a formula of some kind? I can left click to zoom in. That's right, I, I did know that. I looked at the controls briefly. Okay. That's, that's a toilet, all right. Let's take a walk. So I like the graphic art style so far. Some more paint on the ground. Oh, right click also zooms in. Can I double zoom in? No, you can only do the one. The light, the light turns off, on, turns on and off automatically. Do you want to take? You take the high road, and I'll take the low road. I'm going to take the high road. Anyway, let's take the high road. I want to get a good view of this island. I'm gonna walk. Yeah. So this is a landmark edition. I know the original was made in the Source engine. I don't know if this is still sourced or not. Uh, but the. Um, the original was main source engine in it. It looks good, from what I understand. It looked good, but just not as... Oh, shit. I do have to take the load. Here I go. Oh. Oh, I can just... I can just... I can just cross. I guess... I guess I, I guess my character's a little cautious. Donnelly oh. reported the legend of the hermit. Oh. A holy man who sought solitude in its most pure form. Okay. Allegedly, he rode here from the mainland in a boat without a bottom, so mm -hmm. all the creatures of the sea could rise at night to converse with him. How disappointed he must have been with their chatter. Mm -hmm. Perhaps now, in all that haunts the ocean is the rubbish dumped from the tankers, he'd find more peace. Oh. They say he threw his arms wide in a valley on the south side, and the cliff opened up to provide him shelter. They say he died of fever 116 years later. Oh, wow. The shepherds left gifts for him at the mouth of the cave, but Donnelly okay. records they never claimed to have seen him. I have visited the cave and I have left my gifts, but like them, ah. I appear to be an unworthy subject of his solitude. Interesting. Okay, so there's a hermit, and uh, everybody was like kind of buddies with him. And, oh, we are going down the cliff face again. All right, that's okay. We're walking along the beach now. Now we're walking along the beach. That was neat, though. I probably... I don't know if there's a way to stay up there or not, but we'll, we'll take a little walk along the beach. 
Got a, uh, a trap of some kind. A couple of traps. So, but this looks good. This looks good so far. Uh, the, the, the walking pace is a bit plodding. I find myself holding shift, despite the fact that it does nothing. Um, and that's okay. That's okay, you know? Let's see. Now, that's an obvious way. Those islands oh. in the distance, I'm sure, are nothing more than relics of another time. Okay. Sleeping giants, somnambulist gods mm. laid down for a final dream. Somnambulist? What a great word. My wrist ever more tightly. My shaking arms will not support my fading oh, diary. Man. Hang on, hang on. Hang on. Hey, Google. Define somnambulist. Dictionary.com. 1786. Walking in one's sleep or under hypnosis. From French somnambulisme. From modern Latin somnambulist sleepwalker. From Latin somnus sleep. See somnus plus ambulaire to walk. See amble v. So somnambulist gods, like sleeping gods. Neat. Yeah, look at that. Who says who says this game doesn't teach you stuff? That's kind of cool. We're taking the we're taking the stairs. We're taking the stairs. Maybe get the sand out of my boots. Take a little glance around. So it is a bit, it, like, I, like I said, the, the walking pace is a bit plodding. Um, I think they're really laying on the atmosphere thick. The music is gorgeous. Like, I'm, I'm a sucker for really good orchestral music, right? And this, this string, this string segment we got going on right now is just fantastic. So, like, I'm not going to complain. There's a lighthouse or something. There's, a, there's that red light. I feel like that's our goal, right? It's just kind of ominous in the background. There, but so out of reach. How do we get here anyway? Donald We're just standing on the edge of the thing. Oh, there's a boat. The Is that a boat? Since 1974. I decided it would never be missed as I slipped it under my coat and avoided the librarian's gaze on the way out. Hmm. If the subject matter is obscure, the writer's literary style is even more so. Hmm. It is not the text of a stable or trustworthy reporter. Oh, my. Perhaps it is fitting that my only companion in these last days should be a stolen book written by a dying man. Okay. So I'm not sure I understand where the narrative is going. Um, that's okay. That's, that's, why we're, that's why we're trying it out, right? Maybe it's because I kind of went out of order. I don't know if I went out of order or not. I mean, how could you... There it is. There it is, the tower. We'll see. When someone had died or uh -huh. was dying, or was so ill they gave up what little hope they could sacrifice, uh -huh. they cut parallel lines into the cliff. Okay, so like this? Exposing the white chalk beneath. Oh. You could see them from the mainland or the fishing boat. Oh. And know to send aid, or impose a cordon of protection. And wait a generation until whatever pestilence stalked the cliff paths died along with its hosts. Oh, man. My lines are just for this to keep any would-be rescuers at bay. Oh. The infection is not simply of the flesh. Oh, okay, so I like that. That's that's kind of neat, right? This is really giving me, you know what? You know what this is really giving me? A, Cth a Cthulhu vibe. This is really giving me a Cthulhu vibe and I like it. I do like it. You know, like the uh, the first ramblings of, 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 of the insane. I quote directly. Oh, here we go. A motley lot with little to recommend them. Hmm. I have now spent three days in their company. That is, I fear, enough for any man not born amongst them. Hmm. Despite their tedious inclination to quote scripture, oh. they seem to me the most godforsaken of all the inhabitants of the Outer Isles. Okay. Indeed, in this case, the very gravity of that term, forsaken by God, seems to find its very apex. Oh, yeah. It appears to me that Donnelly, too, found those who wander this shoreline to be adrift from any chance of redemption. Mm. Did he include himself in that, I wonder? Okay, so Donnelly found the island and found that people here are just the worst. Okay, all right, well, we're walking along a nice... There's the, there's the lighthouse over there. Oh, there's that, there's that cave that we saw earlier from the mouth of that other cave. Oh, there's a boat. There's a nice little boat right there. A shame we can't take that boat. I'm waiting for this to turn Dear in. Esther, oh, here we go. I met Paul. <clears throat> hmm. I made my own little pilgrimage. Hmm. My Damascus, a small semi-detached on the outskirts of Wolverhampton. Okay. We drank coffee in his kitchen and tried to connect to one another. Hmm. 
Although he knew I hadn't come in search of an apology, reason or retribution, he still spiralled in panic, thrown high and lucid by his own dented bonnet. Hmm. Responsibility had made him old. Like us, he'd already passed beyond any conceivable boundary of life. Hmm. Okay, so I'm expecting this to either suddenly turn into like, oh, there's a cliff right there. There's, a, there's another path right there. But there's also a cave. How can you not want to go in the cave? There's a cave right here. I'm expecting this to either to turn into like a horror game. This hermit, oh, here a we go. seer, this distant historian of bones and old bread, where did he vanish to? Ooh. Why, asked the farmers. Why, asked Jacobson. Why hmm. bother with your visions at all if you're just to throw your arms up at the cliff and let it close in behind you and seal you into the belly of the island? Hmm. A museum shut to all but the most devoted. Hmm. Okay, so th those are... That's like, that's like formula, right? Like... Oxygen, hydrogen, I'm guessing, something like that. Some kind of some kind of DN not not DNA sequence, but some kind of like chemical sequence. I am I am I am I am not a scientist. I I I don't claim to have any knowledge about that at all, so I could be way freaking off base. Those are supposed to be bones in there, I guess. Kind of a shitty 2D texture on that, but otherwise okay. It looks pretty cool. Like again, the game looks good, I think, generally speaking. I mean, I'm sure if you get like real close to the textures, you're like, oh, that's really muddy, but I'm not Total Biscuit, so that's not something I care that much about. But I, generally, I'd say the skin looks pretty good so far. Not to slam on Total Biscuit, actually, really respect the guy. I like him a lot. Watch all his videos. You should too. Not all of his videos. <laughs> I don't care about the podcasting stuff. I like his con I like his gaming content. It's, okay, that, that I think that is the first alive thing we have seen. Since the, uh, since this has started, is that bird. Maybe I just have a bad memory, but I'm pretty sure that's the first thing I've seen that's alive. Hmm. So there's a hermit on the island. Some guy carved his chalk outline on there so that he could warn people to get away because there's a sickness here that's oh, not just of the body. It's like of the mind is what he was insinuating. Uh, Donnelly, some guy named Donnelly wrote a book about the island where he does not like the natives. Because they all are quoting scripture all the time and kind of being dicks. And now here we are. I don't know who we are. We're going to find out, I guess. Well, maybe we won't. Maybe this is just this big, you know, obtuse thing. I've become convinced I'm not alone here. Oh, okay. Even though I'm equally sure it is simply a delusion brought upon by circumstance. Yeah. I do not, for instance, remember where I found the candles. Oh, there's candles? Or why I took it upon myself to light such a strange pathway. Hmm. Perhaps it is only for those who are bound to follow. Oh. See that? See that? See this? This again. Such a Cthulhu vibe. And I, I like that a lot. I think that would be a really... Well, I think this would be a really cool s start to, like, such a... Like, that kind of... That kind of game, you know, that, using that kind of setting. Here you got these standing stones. Ooh, a book. Chemistry. And then looks like some kind of scripture. I can't... I can't crouch. I can't crouch, and I can't... So I can just look. So I can, I can only surmise based on what I'm seeing. So the chemistry book would def would help define would help define why we're seeing chemistry stuff, and then the scripture book. I don't, know, I don't even know the scripture book, right? What kind of what kind of cross is that? It's not it's not like a cross cross. It's just like a I don't know, like an iron cross of some kind. I don't know. I don't know. It, it looked kind of Germanic, but I'm not I'm not, I'm not I'm like the least scholarly person, so I don't I don't freaking know, man. That's okay. That's okay. You know what? We're just we're just. We are, we're just kind of browsing. You know, we're browsing the island. We're window shopping. What do we like? What do we not like? We are, have, we are apparently conserving our energy because we're gonna, might need bursts of speed later. But more than likely not. We're just gonna, you know, go through these narrow tubes, these narrow caverns here. Honestly, this is, this is really neat. I'd like to visit, ah, uh, it's a cliff. Do we want to go down that way? Obviously we do. Oh, there we go. Loading screen. Perfect! Donnelly. Dear Esther. Dear Esther. I have now driven the stretch of the M5 between Exeter and Bristol over 21 times. 
but although I have all the reports and all the witnesses, and mm. have cross-referenced them within a millimetre using my ordnance survey maps, I simply cannot find the location. Oh. You'd think there would be marks to serve as some evidence. Mm. It's somewhere between the turn-off for Sanford and the welcome brake services. Mm. But although I can always see it in my rear-view mirror, I have as yet been unable to pull ashore. Oh. Okay, now we got some more boats down there. We want to take the low road down to the boats? Let's kind of let's go this way. We're going to go this way. We want to examine the boats from above. Right? We're always taking the high road, right? We're not going to get to Scotland first, but, you know, we're having an okay time. The sound design is also really good. The wind, uh, the grass rustling, everything is really good. Well, there's a buoy out there still blinking away. That is, that is a busted up ship. It's been there a while. Well, there's another busted up ship. So there's one there, one there. Jingle jangle. Oh, look, there, that's so ominous. Right? Isn't that pretty ominous? I think that's pretty ominous. Let's see. I wonder. All night the boy oh. has kept me lucid. Hmm. I sat when I was at the very edge of despair, when I thought I would never unlock the secret of the island. I sat at the edge and I watched the idiot boy blink through the night. He's mute, and he's retarded, and he has no thought in his metal head but to blink each wave and each minute aside until the morning comes and renders him blind as well as deaf mute. Hmm. In many ways, we have much in common. Huh. And neither did he eat nor drink. Interesting. See, you only would have seen that. Uh, oh, no, you probably, you probably would have noticed it if you walked around. You should notice it. I wonder if there's a lot of, like, hid, like secret stuff in here. Like, hidden stuff, you know? Stuff you'd only find if you kind of go off the beaten path a little bit. I'm sure there's got to be. I don't think you can have a game like this that's just at face value walking from point A to point B. But maybe you can, right? Maybe that's its strength or maybe that's its weakness. That's why I'm giving this a shot. I don't know if anybody would want to see this all the way through. I imagine that some people would find this horrifically boring. Which is why I'm just trying to talk a lot. <laughs> so that it's not just the sound of the wind and the stepping and the creaking of the ship. Okay. It is quite eerie. I'll say that. Like, it's, this is this game is simultaneously peaceful and like unsettling. You know what I mean? I feel like ruins in general are kind of unsettling. You know, at one point, this ship sailed. It held men, it held maybe women, and I don't know. I mean, it, it, you know, it sailed from point A to point B. There was cargo, it brought, it brought people, it brought things to places. You know, it served a purpose, and now here it sits. And I feel like that is, I feel like that's just, it's eerie. It's eerie because you know, it, 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 uh, at one point, this ship was in its prime. This cargo was valuable to somebody. These containers held something of value, of worth. And now here they sit, and they're just rotting. They're, they're, it, it's a corpse, really. It's the corpse of civilization on the, on the surface of this island. And it is... I think that's unsettling, <coughs> because it's... I don't know, maybe, maybe I'm getting really too philosophical right now, but I feel like it's unsettling because here... You know, I think, I, think it's, I think it's easy to see yourself in something like that. All the work that you do, all the stuff that you do will eventually be for... Not be for nothing, it's for something, right? It's for someone's benefit now. But the remnants of it will be like this there ship. There must be a hole in the bottom of the boat. How else could new hermits have arrived? Yeah. Right? The remnants of everything we do will be like this ship, right? Important to somebody at one point, but now just rusted, rotting. And that's why I think, that's why I think ruins, broken things are so unsettling, are so a prime place for horror, right? Because that primal fear of being forgotten or being left useless, I think is, I think that's kind of in everybody. 
I had kidney stones and you visited me in the hospital. After the operation, when I was still half submerged in anesthetic, mm. your outline and your speech both blurred. Now my stones have grown into an island and made their escape, and you have been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Oh my. Now that says something. You've been rendered opaque by the car of a drunk. Killed by a drunk driver. Wow. No, this is good. This is pretty good. This game is making me think. Well, it's making me think. I don't know. You're probably like, ugh. This is so boring. And I'm sorry if that's true. Oh, I want to... Hang on. I want to go look at this. Can I just fall down? What charnel house lies at the foot of this abyss? How many dead shepherds could fill this hole? I kind of want to try and fall down. I don't know if it'll let me, though. Because I don't think you can die. Can you die? Come back. You can die. Huh. I got an achievement for it, too. Okay. Come back. All right. Well, we're back. <laughs> Welcome back. Man. Well, that's... that. This is neat. This is neat. Okay. Well, I got an achievement for doing that. There you go. If you want to know how to get that achievement, be suicidal down a hole. I didn't know if the game would let you die, to be honest. It was, uh, some games just like this, I'm assuming, just don't, right? Because that's not part of the story, but... I, I like that the game gives you the freedom to do it. This I've is beautiful, I've begun my ascent way. on the green slope of the western side. I've looked deep into the mountain from the shaft, and understood that I must go up and then find the way under. Hmm. I will stash the last vestiges of my civilization in the stone walls and work deeper from there. I'm drawn by the aerial and the cliff edge. Hmm. There is some form of rebirth waiting for me there. See, there is... I told you, the aerial on the cliff edge, that red glowing thing. Now, this was once a stable, obviously. Someone was hurt here. Someone or something. Right? You got, uh... Doctor's... Doctor's tools, blood, syringes... Uh... Pills. Lots of pills. Okay, so something happened here. Let's keep going, I guess. This is really beautiful, by the way. Again, I, I know I said that before, but I'm saying it again. Like, this... I would love to visit a place like this, I think. You know, the un un untouched... The, the, the scarce, scarcely touched parts of civilization, I think, are just... Of, of the world, are just so neat. This is why I want to visit Scotland. Scotland and Ireland, like... Look at that. Like down there, there's a hull of a ship. Right down there. Neat. Yeah, see? That's where we're trying to get to, I guess. Again. Again, I got a comment on the music. Just really good. Really, the really good. The Bothy was constructed originally in the early 1700s. By then, shepherding had formalized into a career. The first habitual shepherd was a man called Jacobson from a lineage of migratory Scandinavians. Mm. He was not considered a man of breeding by the mainlanders. He came here every summer whilst building the Bothy, hoping eventually that becoming a man of property would secure him a wife and a lineage. Donnelly records that it did not. He caught some disease from his malcontented goats and died two years after completing it. There was no one to carve white lines into the cliff for him, either. Oh man, this is tragic! The poor guy, Jakobsen, just wanted to, like, have a family, you know, and he couldn't. Built his house, which is a beautiful house, with a friggin' amazing view. Couldn't even get a wife. Inventory. Oh. A trestle table we spread wallpaper on in our first home. Hmm. A folding chair, I laughed at you for bringing camping in the lakes. Mm. I was uncomfortable later and you laughed then. <laughs> this diary, the bed with the broken springs. Once asleep, you have to remember not to dream. A change of clothes, Donnelly's book, stolen from Edinburgh Library on the way here. Mm. I will burn them all on the last morning and make an aerial of my own. Yeah, there's the burnt book right there. 
some kind of something. I don't know what that is. Is that the Iliad? I don't know. It looks like a Greek book. Uh, sleeping bag. I want to go look at that other building before we move through the building, through this house. I don't know if we need to move through. Looks like I can go through the backyard this way. More squids. Okay, let's go take a look at this one. We're getting little glimpses of the story here, and I like I like that a lot. So far, I'm really enjoying this. Actually, it is it is very different, especially if you just came from watching my clip video or <laughs> anything else. Oh, there we go. Hmm. You know, any of my other videos where I'm cackling like an idiot, right? But that's because, like, you know, I, I don't know. I can, I can appreciate this. I think this is neat. I can also appreciate why some people would not like it. All right? This is not your standard fare. This is not your usual game. And I think for people... I think it's it's understandable why people would be put off by this. Right? And why people would hesitate or even flatly refuse to call it a game. I, on the other hand, find this pretty interesting. Intriguing. And uh, maybe it's maybe it's a little bit better, not, you know, for me that I'm talking about a lot of this stuff that I'm thinking out loud. Well, why I find it interesting. Like the boat on the... The boat on the dock and the poor Jakobsen trying to just... Just trying to live. Just trying to live. I'm reading a book right now by Christian Cameron, um, which is a uh, it's a series about uh, it's it's the Long War series about this like Greek warrior and his journey be between being a uh, you know a smith's son. What to make of oh, Donnelly, the laudanum and the syphilis? Oh. It is clearly not how he began. I've been unable to discover if the former was a result of his visiting the island or the force that drove him here. Mm. For the syphilis, a drunk driver smashing his insides into a pulp as he stumbled these paths, I can only offer my empathy. We're all victims of our age. Mm. My disease is the internal combustion engine and the cheap fermentation of yeast. Hmm. But the book is, uh... I'm thinking a lot about this stuff, especially when you're talking about being a man of means and maybe having, maybe having, uh, uh, property. You know, having land will make people respect you, and, uh, the book deals with stuff like that. They found Jakobsen in early spring. The thaw had only just come. Even though he'd been dead nearly seven months, his body had been frozen right down to the nerves mm. and had not even begun to decompose. His fingernails were raw and bitten to the quick. They found the phosphorescent moss that grows in the caves deep under the nails. Oh. Whatever he'd been doing under the island when his strength began to fail is lost. He'd struggled halfway up the cliff again, perhaps in a delirium, perhaps trying to reach the Bothy's fire before curling into a stone and expiring. Ugh. Oh, what a horrible way to go. Jeez, the game! How about a little mirth in all this macabre sadness? Jeez. The skeleton of a ship. Anyway, the Long War series is really good. I'm on like the third book, and uh, I highly recommend people read it. I'm on the the third, third or fourth book. The fourth book, I think, The Great King. It's really, really good. If you have an appreciation for both reading and uh, um, <clears throat> uh, you know, historical fiction. Climbing down to the caves, I mm. slipped and fell and have injured my leg. I think the femur is broken. Oh, man. It is clearly infected. The skin has turned a bright, tight pink, and the pain is crashing in on waves. Oh, man. Winter tides against my shoreline, drowning out the ache of my stones. I struggled back to the bothy to rest, but it has become clear that there is only one way this is likely to end. Mm. The medical supplies I looted from the trawler have suddenly found their purpose. They will keep me lucid for my final ascent. Okay, so he those medical supplies we found were in the in the thing for him because he fell and friggin broke his leg or femur Shit That would be horrifying to break your leg or get any serious injury alone on an island like this like horrifying That is the word Wow. Hey, one of the candles he mentioned And it's still lit Even after this time, so it seems like this is writ lit relatively recently well, this is just awesome. 
tell me this isn't Cthulhu, right? Like, I mean, come on. Who's not seeing this? Whoop! Oh, there we go. I'm loading. Jakobsen. Chapter 3. I'm only knowing that because there's a little thing that pops up that lets me know that it is, uh... From here, oh. this last time, I understood there is no turning back. The torch is failing along with my resolve. Hmm. And hear the singing of the sea creatures from the passages above me, and they are promising the return of the gulls. I am looking up right now. Well, this is gorgeous. Now, this looks good. Like, I know we had talked about, like, you know, maybe some textures and stuff are bad, but this looks great. This looks really good. I'm liking this a lot. Get a couple of stalactites, stalagmites. The phosphorus luminescence is, uh, moss is pretty cool looking. I'm liking this a lot. This is neat. Oh, I'm crouching. I crouched automatically. That's what it was. Yeah, this is eerie. But you know, it's funny because. Maybe it's because I know this isn't a horror game, but I'm not like, I'm not on edge. Oh my goodness, the music is so good. What? What? Ooh, another path. What about the candles? Oh, this is cool. Uh, I feel, hang on. They'd stop the traffic back as far as the Sanford Junction and come up the hard shoulder like radio signals from another star. Hmm. It took 21 minutes for them to arrive. I watched Paul time it to the second on his watch. So now he's talking about that drunk driving accident again. Was he the drunk driver? And did he kill someone he knew? Did he come to this island for redemption? For... Penance? Well, the game looks good. I don't care who you are. The game looks great. Really, really, really good. Let's keep going. A little auto crouch. Ooh. I think I'm gonna like this room. Can I stand up yet? I'm like crawling right now. Well, this looks amazing. I think just stand in a place like this in real life would just be breathtaking. Wow. All right, here we go. We swim underwater. This looks really good. Man, this looks good. I had a, hang on, I'm gonna I'm gonna really quick check the volume. It looks like it's really really loud. I'm gonna bring it down even even more. That's a bit better. The swelling of the music is really good, but it's also I don't want I don't want to get I don't want to try and fight it, you know. Oh, that's cool. That is neat. I'm trying to do. I think just the nature of the game is making me want to do really smooth mouse movements. You know? So I work my way through the cave. This is really cool. And you know what they should they should do this in VR. I think this on the Vive or something would be phenomenal. I used to own a Vive, I had to sell it, but if, if they had this on the Vive, holy shit, I would be lost in this. I would be all over this. Wow. Oh, there's another candle light. Oh, hey, we're up here. Well, I guess if I slip, I have to do that walk all over again. Let's try not to do that. In real life, I would be tumbling off of this like an idiot because I have the uh, dexterous graces of a seizing mule. So <laughs> I, think, I don't think I would be doing very good. Candle. Was that a wisp of smoke? Oh, man, there's a lot of little attention to detail here. 
I can appreciate this a lot. Okay, how much time we got? 35 minutes. We're gonna go to the next level loading, which could be this, honestly, I don't know. And, uh, and I think that we'll call it there for them. But I might have to play through this again on my own. I might play through it again, but, but finish it on my own. Because this is, uh... Yeah, this is really cool. I'm liking this a lot. I mean, look at this. I, f I feel like a turd slipping out the anus. <laughs> and I've ruined the game. And I've ruined the game. Oh, nice. I'm traveling through my own body, following the line of infection from the shattered femur towards the heart. I swallow fistfuls of painkillers to stay lucid. In my delirium, I see the twin lights of the moon in the area shining to me through the rocks. This is fast. This is really good. The level design, I think, is really neat. All of this is just really neat. I can go up and around, it looks like. Isn't that what I should be doing? I think I should be doing that. There's kind of a path that goes down, though. Ah, up, down, up, down, up, down. We'll go up. Oh, very nice. Oh, no. All right, so we're gonna go. That's my daughter, <laughs> telling me she's stealing my candy from the freezer. Thank you very much. Awesome. This is really cool. Okay. We've seen that before. This is neat. I know I've probably said this is neat. Like there should be like a this is neat counter. Just how many times I've said it already. What is? What is this? What are these? Those like diamonds? Yeah, I, I'm not sure what those are supposed to be, and I feel like that is the the worst texture I've seen in the game so far. When I was coming round from the operation, hmm. I remember the light they shone in my eyes to check for pupil contraction. It was like staring up at a moonlit sky from the bottom of a well. Oh. I moved at the summit, but I could not tell if you would. Oh, we're sinking. Let's not, not sink. Oh, 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 oh. How do I get out of the pool? How do I get out of the pool? Can I, can I just, can I just jump up, please? There we go. There we go. This is slowest getting out of the pool ever, but there we go. All right. More candles. Still burning somehow. The one's a little low. Behold. Damascus is taken. Behold, Damascus is taken? Is that what it says? Okay. There's a lot of writing going on here. I thought that said ho, 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 but no, it's just more than writing. Um... So this is what Syphilis guy was doing before he died? Damascus? Damascus is taken. Neat. Damascus is definitely taken. Good job. He's nothing if not consistent. As we walk our way through this... Ooh, really green up here. Super green. Well, as... And to scale... And it scale be a I don't know what that says. Scale be a pungness heap? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I have no idea. No clue. All right. Well, this is uh, this is cool. There's a lot of there's a lot of cool stuff going on here. I'm probably gonna have to finish this on my own. Or if you want to see the end with my. Uh, inane narrating going along with it, then, you know, leave a comment, stop by the Discord. Or stop by the Discord. You don't have to stop by the Discord if you really don't want to, but I can do more. This is, uh... Here we go. <gasps> Under we go. 
I'm thankful that this is a walking simulator because I feel like the under underwater portions will be brief, and I'm not a big fan of underwater portions of, of games. Not usually. I don't think there's ever been one that I've been like, that was a lot of fun! Uh, every, every time I just hate them, usually. Okay, it's a nice big cliff. More paint. No, no! Come back. Oh, I'm on the road. Oh, shit, it's like a flashback. Oh, I can walk. Oh. Going toward my operation, I guess? A lot of, a lot of money on the table? I don't, I don't want that. I don't want that. I'm just gonna run. I'm just gonna run away. Well, not run, I'm gonna... Very slowly go. Can I swim up? I feel like I'm underwater. I am underwater. I could kind of swim, actually. Oh. Maybe I was supposed to fall. I didn't think I was. Okay, now that's awesome. It looks like an eyeball. Some ancient eyeball staring at you. Like, that is, that is not by accident. That's a really smart piece of level design right there. Wow. Like I said, I want to get to the final, uh... And because of the position of the thing, it's like it's watching you the whole time. Oh, that is so eerie! Well done! Wow! I like that a lot. Yeah, we're gonna... We're definitely gonna have to, uh... I'm sure it's gonna lo level load soon, and when it does, I'll, uh... I'll be able to, uh, we'll end it there, but, uh, there it is. Wow. Okay. Wow. Ooh. Okay. Huh. Okay. Well, this is, this is actually really good. I actually like it a lot. I'm intrigued. I want to know what happens. I want to know... Uh, where like where the story goes there's like a couple stories going on right and and it's uh it's it's neat the graphics i think are really good um it is not going to be for everybody understandably but i really am enjoying what i've played so far huh well i'm definitely going to play through this i think on my own um if uh, you want me to record that and put it up on youtube leave a comment or uh come stop by the discord and say hi and uh, let your opinion be known uh, or by twitch if i'm streaming Oh wow. Okay, well. Thank you so very much for uh thank you so much for watching and uh <laughs> I'm definitely gonna be playing this more. I'm gonna finish this. I'm definitely gonna finish this, but whether I record it or not, I guess it's up to you guys. But alright, well thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. I'm back. Hey.